Hello, everyone. Let me know you're here. Oh, I guess I should put my other earbud in. Hi, Kish. Hey, Beb. Hey, Smash. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, ALC. Hi, Peach. I must actually did my hair this morning, and y'all, y'all are gonna laugh because I looked at myself in the mirror because I used my uh um small curling wand, and I thought to myself, "Holy shit, I look like Alex! What the hell?" But then I realized I really don't. So. There's that. Um, I was hoping that Lauren was going to drop in because she always likes my chaos stories, my shenanigans. She'll, if she doesn't, she'll watch later, I'm sure. Um, no heatless curls. I know. It's a shame. Um. I don't do my hair very often, so the heatless curls just, and I would totally F it up. Uh, uh, I did, you know what? Maybe I didn't look like her. I, I, it was giving the Shirley Temple Alex, you know, that one back in the beginning of summer. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Labyrinth. Hi, Yana. Hannah. I think I said Hannah. Linked. Hi, Linked. Uh, I need to send you something in Discord because I named a chicken. Uh, I need a chicken last night. Hi, Laura. Um, so, a little. Uh, oh, but Rudy, wait, wait till the end of this because I have a picture of um, her selfie that she just put up on Instagram, and uh, the sleeves are not not long. Mm -mm. Um, so a little, a little housekeeping, um, to those who like to comment and if any of you are watching or later wa watching later, because I, my video comes up on your, um, feed as one said this morning, um, my channel is a reaction channel, which means I'm going to watch the video and I'm going to say exactly what comes out of my, what is in my brain and it comes out of my mouth. It is truly all me. If you think it's judgment, then it's judgment. But guess what? You're commenting on my video with your judgment. We all judge. Let's be honest. We are all judgy people. It is a human nature to judge. <laughs> Arlene, that's <laughs> she got another Timu wig. Yep. <laughs> and and <clears throat> as Jennifer says, they're praying for us. <sighs> the amount of Alex viewers that have come over and are praying for us. It it we we are all in a good place, just so y'all know. We've got a lot of people praying for us. It warms my heart. I am going to tell the B story. I am. Um, but it does warm my heart that you're praying for me. And I'm not going to build someone up that has built that. It, I'm not going to tear. So I'm not going to build someone up while they have torn people down with their lies. Ha <laughs> ha. And Peach, that's my, that is, I learned from, I learned from linked that if you comment, I will reply. It may not be a thoughtful reply. It may be just thanks for the view, 
Um, I replied to somebody the other day that um, today must have been your first day on the internet. Welcome to the internet. She didn't understand my sarcasm on that. So that one was funny. Um, so anyways, yesterday, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm normally very active on Discord. I, I am in charge of a, the family farm. Um, I am essentially a stay at home wife and mom. Um, my husband works outside of the house. My mother works outside of the house. Her, her, her significant other is retired. Um, but her significant other and her are older. Um, so they can't take care of the manual labor per se um, that is required. So that's what I do. And I make dinner for everyone. I clean, you know, all that good stuff. Um, so go ahead, judge that I live with my mother. That's fine. Um, but I, I, it, it's going to be mine eventually. So I am, I am taking care of what will eventually be mine and what will eventually be my daughter's. So yesterday, um, we, I was outside. I was, uh, I, I had a whole, um, plan in my head. I, um, had to fix the, the hen house. We have chickens. We have about 40 chickens. I had to fix the door on the hen house. Um, I am not a handy person, but I am learning. Took a drill, went out there, did the whole thing. Um, got it fixed, everything. I did break a drill bit in the process. Yay me. Um, then I went to get on a zero turn mower. If you don't know what a zero turn mower is, you see the mowers on the, um, you know, the side of the road. Those little fun things that that look awesome. If I don't welcome you, I will welcome you later. I know Peach is doing a great job. She is my um, my greeter. Um, <clears throat> so, um, so I went to get on the zero turn. It is my favorite thing to do. I put my ear my AirPods in. I sing. All the cows can hear me, all the goats hear me, the chickens, all of it. Um, went to get on it and it didn't start. I had checked. I had... <laughs> yes. <laughs> my my Walmart greeter vibe. I'm gonna I'll get you a blue jacket, a blue vest. Um, so I went to, I went to start it. I already made sure there was gas in it, cleaned it off a little bit, didn't start. Great. Uh, everything around this place essentially doesn't do what I want it to. Oh, Lauren, you're here just in time. So I go to, you know, I'm like, okay, going through what could be wrong with it because we just got it fixed. So my mom is in Scotland, so I can't call her. My husband is on a call because I have him on Live 360. And anytime I have a question, I just look to see where he is. Not that I'm tracking him like Alex does, uh, but I don't want to interrupt him while he's on a call with a patient or anything like that. So my next option was my dad. Call my dad. Hey, dad, can you listen to this? Um, I, I think it's the battery, but can you tell me? So he's like, sure. Get him on FaceTime. I'm showing him where the battery is, everything. I do it and it clicks. He's like, that's the battery. I said, okay, well, can I move the truck over here and charge, you know, jump start the battery? Yeah, perfect. I said, he goes, you have jumper cables. Well, I have mom's truck. So yeah. And so I'm digging in the truck for the, for the jumper cables and get them. And he's already told me it's red and black. Well, I'm looking at the jumper cables and it's yellow and black. And I'm like, okay, we're just going to go with this. So I get him back on FaceTime because Lord knows I don't want to break either vehicles. Get over there. I do it. I was so proud of myself. I jumped the, the battery all by myself. No problems. Got it done. Sweet. I'm on my way. If you were in Discord yesterday, you probably noticed I would like was hit or miss in there checking every once in a while. So I was outside doing the yard work. Um, 
got the weed eater out. I, I mean, like literally weed eater out. I'm going around our fire pit, weeding it. Um, the goats um, had liked these weeds that I had picked. So there was a whole bunch of them around the fire pit because we are in Texas and we have, uh, we've had a, a, a burn ban. So we haven't been able to use the fire pit. It had rained, couldn't mow, all the good stuff. So I pull these, I take some over. I pull some more and lo and behold, a damn bee is attached to my the palm of my hand. I am screaming bloody murder, flicking the bee off. And I still look and I'm like, why is it still hurting? Oh, because the stinger is in my the palm of my hand. So I flick it off. Then I run in, get the stuff to, you know, put it on. Finally, it stops hurting a little bit. But so <laughs> then... I go to this little tree that we have, that we have little benches around and uh, I'm weed eating. I get to a part and I look and I'm like, uh, there's bones there. Then I realize, oh, those are from last Halloween. Okay. So I'm thinking to myself, great. Now I have hand bones that I'm going to have to call professionals to come and dig up. Then I realize, oh, okay. They're skeleton bones from Chris from last Halloween that the kids are, um, mom's uh my bonus dad missed so you know then you know i finish kind of I, i'm i'm going around just weed eating it and all of a sudden this praying mantis gets up on the bench and i am not kidding you guys he is he she is staring me down like excuse me you are bothering me and missing and messing with my home i was like all right i'm done for the day Nature has told me to go back in the house. I'm done. Completely done. You know, when a bee stings you, you are praying mantis is staring at you. <sighs> Labyrinth. Uh, the bee sting was nothing compared to a wasp. And I, if it had been a wasp, I probably would have been stung a whole lot more and I would probably be in the emergency room because I am allergic to uh, wasps. So, yeah, the insects yesterday, my, my nature day, I was like, done with you. I'm going in and taking a shower. Uh, then took a shower and you guys... My shower, I told my husband when he came home after I'd gone back, I was like, don't look in the shower. It looks like there's like three layers of dirt in there and I will wash it out. <sighs> so that was my day yesterday. Um, today should not be nearly as eventful. I'm going to be in the house and uh, just I have an errand to run with the kid, with a kid. So then I'll be back home to watch my, I took a uh, yes, I took a body shower, a full head to toe body shower. My hair got washed like three times because there was, it, it, my hair was a different color because there was so much dirt and stuff in it. Oh, mm -mm, I don't think I could step. Oh, no, 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 mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. Y'all. Mm. Yes. Catherine, you are not wrong. Wasps are a whole other story. Oh my gosh. Our office, mom, my mom and I have a small business and we have a, our, uh, like a travel trailer thing that is our office. It is currently invaded with wasps and I can't go in there. So all of our office stuff is in the house until we can find somebody because my husband's allergic as well. So, you know. Texas stuff. It's so fun. <laughs> oh, thanks, Shelly. I appreciate it. Uh, there, and then there's not any kids stories. Uh, um, everything is, yes, everything is bigger. Uh, the only thing about yesterday, other than the bee sting, was my, my Rangers lost. I'm really, really kind of sad about that, especially with with the picture that we had playing, but you know, Hey, it is what it is. We'll give, we'll give Astros that one, one game. <laughs> okay. So we are all here to watch Alex and her productive day in her life. 
I have a feeling, and I told the girls earlier before I set it up, that I have a feeling that there is going to be a rant happening. Because we, uh, Catherine, we have grasshoppers right now. That was the other thing. I can handle, I, pre, back, a small backstory. I actually grew up in the city in one of the uh, one of the cities that the dfw metroplex is um uh so i grew up in the city i didn't grow up out here in the country i've been in the country since i got divorced so like almost 10 years um so this whole city thing mm -mm -mm. Mm. or this whole country thing it's been it's been a whole thing um, uh, but grasshoppers will, uh, I'm not, I, actually, I grew up in Fort Worth. I'm a Fort Worth girl through and through. <laughs> um, so the grasshoppers would jump on me for, uh, solace to save them from the mean zero turn that was coming at them. And I don't mind the grasshoppers grump, uh, jumping on me. That's fine. Just don't give me snakes. Don't give me mice. Don't give me spiders. Mm -mm, can't do it. Okay, so let's jump over here to Alex. Um, again, we are in the kitchen. As always, in front of the refrigerator. And I've decided that we are doing this in front of, in the kitchen, because it's all, well, the rest of the house is white, too. Um so she wants this as a white background is what I've decided. But she could go anywhere in her house for that white background. Hi, Alora. Hi, Melissa. Uh, so we have a productive day. Okay, let's see what her productive day is compared to a real adult's productive day. Good morning. Let's get hollow weird. I refuse to. I, Y'all, I can't with these graphics that she, Yana, you are correct. She is. Uh, the graphics that she's putting on here. I, I, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Hi, Jennifer. Other Jennifer. There's, an, there's, and NIMBY. To wear any other clothing than something Halloween for the next two weeks. I don't like how quickly October is going by, but like I missed like a week of it when I was sick. So now I'm in hyperdrive. I've got to just. You didn't miss a week of it. You were here. Unfortunately. Embrace the Halloween spirit for the next couple of weeks. I busted out one of my old tumblers. This one's from last year. Look how big that tumbler is. Holy hell. Look at this cute little like iridescent ghosty. This one's also from Juniper & Co. And we're gonna make an iced coffee because we're gonna do like a weekly reset today. I haven't done one of these. Oh, it's a reset. Oh, it's a weekly reset. Sweet. I've been waiting for a reset. Vlogs in a while because I've been sick, because I've got arthritis in my wrist. I'm very relieved that so many of you guys told me that you also have arthritis at a young age. That's why like talking about stuff online can be so good because it like really just makes us all feel less alone. Really? Really? You're so excited that other people, screenshot, other people are sharing their stories of having arthritis at a young age. Um, Alex, that's not really anything to be excited about. It's not. And you're excited about it and it's a bit sad. Mm. pumpkin a spice we gotta embrace it guys also this is officially my new look when i want to just like live comfy and not doll up but like have my hair down inspired by claudia walsh bringing back oh, these walsh, headbands okay. get the hair out of the face you can still wear it down i am very much here for it Ooh, we're making a big cup today got a fresh pumpkin spice okay let's all take a moment to we're, we're gonna slow this down just just for the poor Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna slow it down for the the very the poor. Gotta make sure I finish this 
within the next I I'll definitely finish this in a month. Or <laughs> okay, Alex. Okay, this is kind of funny. <laughs> but the second this one is gone. Peppermint mocha, baby. Holiday, it's the holiday season. I won't even lie, guys. It makes my heart explode oh. seeing how many of you guys. Okay. You guys. Um, a serving size of her vegetable oil sugar zero sugar nastiness is one tablespoon and i want to say like 30 calories so uh she just poured like half a cup in there That's like 180 calories just in the creamer. Holy moly. That's a... Uh, uh, uh. Enjoy like the fall and holiday content here. I love you. Like, thank you. You guys make it special for me too because like you give me a reason to like do, go the extra mile. I mean, actually, if I was on YouTube, I'd still, go in, I'd still be going the extra mile with the holidays. But I love... Her extra mile is going to Party City and shopping for... For us. She's shopping... For us sharing it with you guys i love bringing you guys on the family traditions i love the cozy vlogs i love the vibes and you guys commenting that like it truly makes my heart explode thank you for being here i love y'all all right i gotta take a sip before i put the lid all the way down mm. delicious so cute so festive let me know when you guys put your christmas tree up in the comments i just want to know <laughs> i'm fine she was just complaining <clears throat> about october almost being over and now she's asking about the Christmas tree. Uh, we put the Christmas tree up after Thanksgiving. Respect the turkey. I need a lot of peace with decorating for Christmas around like mid-November because I still want to enjoy fall the first couple of weeks because I love the fall decor this year. So like probably week number two or three of November, we'll decorate for Christmas. But then getting a real tree usually can't go until after Thanksgiving, but we do the rest of the decor before then. I mean, I'm just... I'm just edge-hearing, thinking out loud. Did I say edge-hearing? So anyway, we're gonna do a little weekly reset today. I'm gonna go pick up groceries and what do you know, a target pickup. Oh my God, this is what happens when I don't vlog for like two days. I have just so much to tell you. So I went over to my mom's house last night to watch the new Golden Bachelor. I went over before my mom was home from work so I could take Cha-Cha for a little walk. My mom goes. <sighs> I'm taking a breath before I have to listen to the Golden Bachelor. Nonsense. Goes, hey, I got a surprise for you. It's on the chair in the living room. I walk in. My mom got me one of the products from the Pottery Barn and Elf Collab, the Cotton Headed Mini Muggins pillow. It's so cute. And I even love the little tag. I sent this to, like, I sent the collabs. I got an email for it. And I was like so excited. I put it on Instagram stories and I sent it to my grandma and my mom. And I'm like, I'm going to let myself get one item. What should I get? And I ended up like analysis paralysis. I'm going to let myself get one. No, she's not, Shelly. She's she's drinking too much caffeine and nonsense. Um <laughs> Peach. Peach is riding this capsule wardrobe. <laughs> okay, so I think someone looked it up and um this the pillow cover. It's not even the pillow. It's just the pillow cover is $70 from Pottery Barn. That means her mom spent, if her mom bought it, that means her mom, if her mom put the pillow in there, her mom spent $100 on a pillow for her when Alex can't even pay for the parking at the Boston Red Sox game when she drove. I don't think she I, exactly. I, I don't think her mom bought it. I think she's just trying to say that she did. She probably had it sent to her mom's house. So when she walks in, Yar doesn't say anything about it. 
just couldn't decide. I bought nothing. And my mom got me this. I love it. So I'm so excited to have this in the collection now and bust it out every year because I know I'll watch Elf. I'm going to go to Timu and see if they have one like that and I'll get it much cheaper. Every year. I watch it with my family every year when we decorate our family Christmas tree at my grandma's. And then when I have kids, I know we'll watch it every year. So it'll be so fun to like have this and bring it out every year. Oh, look at this. It has a really beautiful like stitched on thing there. But my mom told me a funny story <laughs> when she got it. She didn't read that it was just a pillowcase cover and not with the insert. So when she got it, it was like a really small package. She was like, what is this? And then she went out and got a pillow for it. So sweet. Such a nice surprise. And it's like extra special special because it came from my mom. So I love it. I can't wait to put it on the couch. I have to resist putting it on now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been rambling for like five minutes. Okay. So anyway, I want to use my new couch cleaner today. Um, Yarman bought me this. He said like all of his tech YouTubers love it. It's like a car vacuum that you keep in the car because like, I really like the vacuum we have in the garage, but like he always has the Tesla in the garage and it's just a whole whole thing this is just convenient and I wait so they they have they they have they have a vacuum in the garage but since he keeps the Tesla in the garage. She got a vacuum for the for her car. Um, maybe maybe it's just me. Stay with me. But um, can, is it too hard to pull the Tesla out and pull your Hyundai up, vacuum it out, and then? It, is that just too much, Alex? Is that too much? That that is that too productive? She did. She they. So I even said the same thing, Peach. Apparently, there's a big ass vacuum on the wall. Um, that that they bought for the cars, but now she has one in her car so she doesn't have to pull the tesla out pull hers up just to vacuum i don't fuck. jesus h christ they get more ridiculous live for convenience you can keep this in the car and just quickly clean because i really really like keeping my car clean lately so that was very nice time to get i can't wait to try that her car really shouldn't be that dirty it's really i mean seriously it shouldn't oh but we're shopping at Chick-fil-A, so we have food crumbs, we have Starbucks crumbs, we... I'm also gonna do some restocks of my Blue Land cleaning supplies. So let's get into that first and foremost, and then we're gonna head out and get our groceries. Thank you to Blue Land for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I love their products. I showed them a while back now, and I get their refills, and I'm due for a refresh, so let's do it. Okay, so I've got my refill tablets here, and I'm also adding something new to my collection. They're dishwasher tablets. The only time she shows this is when it's sponsored. She doesn't show it any other time. Wouldn't you want to, to show it when you, oh no, we only do things to get paid. That's right, okay. So I got the storage container first and foremost, and then this is how it will look when you get the refill tablets. So let's go ahead and fill her up. Perfect. Why is this so cute? I just like want to leave it out on the counter. Okay, so we're going to do um, some refills here. This is the bathroom, multi-surface, and then glass and mirror. I love keeping these just right where they need to go. I like that they have different um, categories. And then here are the refill tablets. Blue Man literally uses no single-use plastic in any of their components from the bottles, tablets, wrappers, um, and just shipping too. And these little tablet packaging, these are fully compostable. And you guys, I have a these and they are super effective and honestly super affordable as well. All right, so just some warm water. And then here is the glass and mirror cleaning tablet. Then you just boop, pop it right in. It's so easy to refill these. And you guys actually can get even more savings um, when you're buying the refills if you want to get them like in bulk or set up. Catherine, one of the other girls might be able to answer um, that. I don't know. Um, they probably saw her in it and said, oh, God. Carry on. Have a subscription, you don't have to. The subscriptions are totally like customizable and convenient. So like you'll never run out of all these products. I think without their color coordinated up here. So I'm just gonna let that one. Arlene, the, uh, that the KitchenAid is just for pretty. She doesn't use it. She uses the hand one or the slotted spoon for brownies. 
fizzle. And everything here is hypoallergenic and sourced from vegan and non-GMO ingredients. So let me restock these up as well. All right, you can see our tablet dissolving. Now we are all stocked up and I am going to refill my foaming hand soap as well. All right, in you go. Now our tablet will dissolve. And we are starting off this weekly reset vlog all stocked up on our cleaning supplies. Definitely gonna be doing some cleaning with those later, but you guys can get 15% off your first Blue Land purchase using my link down below in the description box or click in this QR code. Mm -mm. And like always, after the live stream is done, I will be linking all the links that she says. Um, um, so you can just go there. I'm sure that you can get 15% off just by making an account so you don't have to get mon give money to her. Mm -mm. Why is it so much better when it's in a cute little ghosty cup? And I actually just got the notification on my phone that my Target order and my groceries are ready to get picked up. So we're going to take Mr. Sploot on his daily ride. Are you guys ready to watch the chaos ensue? Why don't you go on a daily walk instead of a daily ride? <clears throat> Make sure that gets put in our Hall of Fame linked. Oh, wait, he's eating breakfast. I will not disturb him. Oh, is he drinking water or eating breakfast? Are you drinking your wawa? Oh, good boy. Oh, you still have a little bit of breakfast left. You all done? You done with your breakfast? Watch. Get ready, guys. You want to go for a ride? You want to go? Can you imagine walking into her house and <clears throat> walking right into the dog dish? I mean, hi, Alex. Oh, sorry. I just knocked over the dog dish. Didn't realize that we put it in... Um, the uh, hallway or the entryway. I think says like welcome. Like the dog dishes. I want to see if the pumpkins have been destroyed. <laughs> the only time, Shelly, I will do a quick Target pickup if it is something that I know that. I just need to get and don't want to go in. Um, uh, like most of the time it's like birthday gifts. I'll just pick them, you know, do it and go. I much prefer to just go in the store. Uh, it's, I don't, yeah. Go for a ride. Come on. <laughs> oh, who wants to go for a ride? Who wants to go for a ride? Ah, we're back in the car. Why do I love a car vlog? I brought my camera in the car too. So we're not even just doing iPhone, baby. We're on, we're on the Sony. And Bruno's got his head. Was that clear? I don't know if it was or not. I'm not going to back it up. But I want I want to see the head out the window. So we love that for him. It's one of those days where it's bright but not sunny. <laughs> it's like overcast but bright. Let me know if any of you guys have ever been to Top Golf because we have one like around us for the first time ever just got up and i'm curious how it is like oh my god y'all going her going to top golf please oh please vlog that alex if you're watching if you go to top golf please vlog that oh my god just make that a whole vlog that would be amazing just you playing golf at top golf oh please 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 that that would be beautiful Oh, she got her nails done. I wonder what. I wonder when she got them done. We didn't see that. Is it is it fun if you're like not into golf? You know, like is it just like a little fun? <laughs> I don't know what I'm even saying. We need to make you an appointment. Your hair's getting a little long, guys. I always look at old pictures of Bruno, and I back when his hair was really long. I think I probably said this in the vlog. Maybe I haven't. When his hair was really long, I loved it. But now that I look back, I I, I don't love it. <laughs> I, I love his hair at the length now. It makes him just look more young. Like when it was like just like the sweet little puppy that he is. Looking back at, I like how I looked up at the number. I always park in space number three. Like literally. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Alex at Top Golf, and her looking like over the edge. <laughs> I look like just look at this. I know Bruni. Like he just looks so different is that for me oh hello i'm gonna open the trunk 
Oh, there's her customer service voice. I know. I didn't think it was so cold. <laughs> Have a good day. I'm out here in sandals, and she's like, it's cold today. I'm like, what can I say? I'm a New Englander. I mean, Bruno is always the cutest dog in the whole world, the love of my life. But I'm like, who is that? <laughs> It just doesn't even, he's so cute though. It just Hi, doesn't even look like him in my opinion. All right. Oh my God. Uh, they added in my Target app now that you can do add Starbucks to your order. That's dangerous. That's so dangerous. I haven't tried it yet, but like, I know I'm like nervous to try it. All right, Bernie, groceries are secured. Lord have mercy, Starbucks. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I've, <laughs> like, she has the basic model. I'm pretty sure she's got the basic. I mean, she doesn't even have leather seats. It's basic. Now we head to Target. Also, nothing makes me happier than seeing other dogs with their heads out the window just cruising. Like, because <laughs> you just know how happy it makes them. It just never gets old. All right, you guys. Um, Shelly, top golf. Okay. It's not putt putt. It is like a golfing, like a putting green. I don't, I don't know how. I'm not a golfer. Um, it's like a driving range, exactly. But you get food and music, and it's like this whole thing, and there's a huge ass net, and there's like three or four levels to it. We have one in Fort Worth. Um, and you like try to hit the targets in the green down below, but it's like leveled. So there's like it's like bowling. But for golf. So you've got your little lane that you got you you put from or you hit from. Um, it's really cool. I've never been. My husband um and his groomsmen went for the bachelor party um when we got married. Um, uh, but they said it was fun that they remember because you know, Scotsman and drinking. <laughs> Guys, stop number two, check into Target. We've got our code ready. So there's two Targets that I do pickups and there is just the sweetest lady at the other one that I see every time. And she just loves Bruno so much. It's a little further from me, but like, I should just go there so I can see her. She's there like all the time. I just love her. I did end up getting kind of a decent amount of groceries from here. Do I need to open the trunk? Hello, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. I know, Bruni. You just want to say hi to everyone and you can't. I wish you could. Okay, but here's the thing. You want to say hi and then they say hi to you and you run away. All right, let's go home. She's really talking to her dog like that. Really? Um, I am going to do slow cooker chili today, so I need to like get that in the oven. Not in the oven. I oh, we're going to cook. I'm so excited we're going to cook. <clears throat> I'm surprised that she wasn't sad um, that it wasn't her target BFF. And I will try to go to Top Golf. We will we will make a date out of it, my husband and I. A a well, I will I will try. <laughs> I need to get that on the slow cooker really soon because it's like 50s today. It just feels like a good day to make chili and I haven't made chili in so long. I'm going to make cornbread too. So we got to get home and put that in the slow cooker. Oh my God, but honestly, is there anything more terrifying than when your contact, I just rubbed my eye and my contact went up under my lid. Oh, I got it out. That's the scariest thing in the world. It's happened like a few times, but it's the worst. You just have to like push, push, push and it will come out. But oh my God, that's the worst. All right, let's do a little grocery haul. So from Target, the price is pretty good on- Ooh, a grocery haul. Those are always a fan favorite. Yay! They're ground turkey. So, ground turkey. I also bought, um, I often buy from Target, I already have one right now. The family pack of their chicken breast is also a very good price. And then I, it comes with six, and then I kind of just package them up, freeze two. I do two at a time in the little containers. Um, I find those are a pretty good price because, like, meat is just so expensive. Is she really complaining about, okay. She is complaining about the price of meat. She has complained about the price, and I am not going to let this go, the price of a staining and sealing her deck, <clears throat> which would add value to the house, and she wouldn't have to replace the deck in the future because she stained it. It's an investment. 
but you're going to spend um, $500 on a pair of sunglasses that you use um, as a headband. You are going... You are going to complain about a $50 pumpkin or you were going to, you're going to complain about the $50 pumpkin, but you bought the $200 pumpkin over in that corner as an investment for your future children. Um, ma'am. Um, Labyrinth, they, they, he is in the army national guard. They don't, I don't think they have that. I'm not sure how the guard National Guard works. Um, but um, if you read some of the comments, I think more people will know how how the National Guard will work and all that kind of stuff. Um, 400 grand for a car show, but she was complaining that she couldn't go see um, Taylor Swift. Yeah, Alex. Tell a normal person about the cost of meat, you know, that have three plus children and work a normal job. I got some oven ready, no boil lasagna noodles, grated parm, this is a big one, Rayo's marinara for lasagna because I have um, ricotta cheese I want to use. I got another tomato soup because it's grilled cheese and tomato soup season, black pepper. Oh, I got, um, how about make your, oh my God, seriously, caramel dip, caramel dip. I can't. Some caramel dip for apples. I usually have apples and peanut butter, but tis the season for a little caramel. Individual hummus with, you know, my cucumber and hummus daily fixation. Okay, from Whole Foods, I- Cucumber and hummus daily fixation. All right, here we go with some carbs. Got our favorite, the Mighty Mills bagels. The best. You need to go outside? Oh my gosh, on TikTok, there's this little dog where the owner says, ready, ready, set, go. And then they run and Bruno kind of does that. Here's the thing, it's not like a ready, set, go, but we go, ready. Go. He won't go sometimes until you go, go. <laughs> I don't know. Here. Um Jesus H. Christ. Y'all, she needs, she needs friends. Are the tomatoes. I like crushed tomatoes versus diced for my chili. I don't like big chunks. So that's what I get. You got one avocado. Because you don't like vegetables. That caramel dip would send my gastric bypass, my gastric pouch into a tizzy and my intestines would be incredibly unhappy. I had a few gummy bears last night to solve my world problems and my, my insides were not happy with me. So I can at least admit that I had gummy bears last night. Alex won't do that. A couple of oranges that fell out of the bag. Cream cheese since yours has been going into the office now more. This has been like his go-to breakfast. I love these little mini mozzarella snack packs. They're really good, really fresh. And then, oh, oh no. I got more of my mini cubes for the hummus. They seem kind of, it's kind of suspicious. I'm gonna have to look at those. Uh, and then I just- Maybe, oh, more bread, more bread. Maybe you should go shopping yourself and you wouldn't have to worry about how your cukes look. Got some regular wheat bread. We needed more panko, bananas, and then I got this cornbread mix. And then we just needed some saltine crackers. And then for the chili, a can of black beans and a can of kidney beans. And then this was like only a dollar or two, this big thing of minced uh, chopped garlic. Yeah, I bought it pre-minced this time. And then in this bag is just this. This is so good. It's a multi-grain baguette with like garlic butter inside. Y'all, holy hell, holy hell, Labyrinth, I think in one of the, we're fixing to count it linked, um, Labyrinth, in one of my past videos, I said what my theory is, um, and I don't remember 
which one it is that I did, but yeah, I, I, I'm, mm. with the amount of stuff that she's eating that would absolutely send her just, mm. so we had bagels, we had the panko, we have the saltine crackers, we have the whole wheat bread, we have this, and it, y'all, mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. side so easy to just throw it in the oven um so we always have these on deck i usually serve them with like the lasagna or whatever so i put all this away and then we're gonna make some chili and we'll make the house smell so good i just did a little refill of this with some salt and pepper this is what i use and i think it looks so beautiful on the counter this is from amazon i will link it below it is so oh the cornbread mix that's right that's right the cornbread i knew there was another one the cornbread um um where where, 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 she, Shelly, she cannot get another gastric bypass surgery. Um, the next one that she could get, if a will, a doctor was willing to do it, would be, um, the duodenal switch. And it is, it is one of those very few and far between, um, surgeries. It is a combination of the sleeve and the bypass, um, and she, if she thought this, if she couldn't do this, she, she, she surely could not do the duodenal switch because it, it's more, it's more invasive than, than the bypass. Um, yeah, she on a, she just needs some, she just needs to go somewhere, um, and have her food intake monitored at this point, just. Nothing says food addict like spending most of your vlog discussing food. So oh, pretty. And I do. I literally just keep it right here when I cook. And then it's super easy to just like take a pinch. Or Where are her little um, ones that she likes to use all the time? Those ones, is she did she not, can she not afford batteries? Is she going to complain about the price of batteries so she can't use those things anymore? So now she can do like five pinches of salt. Ugh. <laughs> Rudy, you and I are on the same, same wavelength. <laughs> like put your spoon into it, like a tablespoon or teaspoon, whatever. Um, and it's like really heavy, really nice quality. I've had it for a while now. So refilled that. Who needs a tablespoon of salt? Damn. Mm. So we've got our ingredients and I was thawing some ground chicken. I always kind of just follow a random recipe. I won't even lie to y'all. I just pulled this out of the freezer yesterday. So I know it's expired, but it was frozen. So um, I will link the recipe that I'm using down below and we'll see how it comes out. But first and foremost, we got to cook this chicken up. All right, the ground chicken is cooked. So we're going to do two cloves of minced garlic. We're just going to give that a little eyeball, you know, and do one and a half teaspoons of cumin half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes oh my god look how much chili powder i have left oh god let me go to the pantry and hope we have some a few minutes later when i tell you it is a miracle that i had this in the pantry thank you god i don't know if i have two tablespoons though okay there's one ah oh, yay y'all oh my god Watching her cook really makes me Ugh. It's a miracle, y'all. I'm gonna add that to the grocery list. I have like backup spices in the pantry, but like not for everything. All right, anyway, <laughs> let's give this a mix. All right. Can you, okay, no offense to anybody that does this, but can you imagine needing to put your spices into a aesthetically pleasing container. Isn't that just more work? Hmm. I just put them in the cabinet and go on. I ain't got time for that. Bust out the slow cooker. Now let's add in our ingredients. I don't want to hear about my dirty slow cooker. It has character. I'm gonna add in a chopped onion. And then this is one can of kidney beans and black beans rinsed off. One 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I mean, I adjusted the recipe a little bit, but not too much. That ham seems to be okay. And I'm going to add chicken broth into here. 
to kind of get out all that excess tomato. A little more chicken broth, give it a good stir. All right, the recipe didn't have salt and pepper and I just tasted it and it really needed it. So I added in um, salt and pepper to taste as well. And I'm gonna add jalapenos to mine at the end, but not for the hubs. And we're gonna cook this on high for four hours. All right, let's do a little quick clean up. I need her to get a new cutting board. Thank you, Jamie. I will actually put sugar and flour and stuff in other containers, mainly because I don't, the air tight things, they come in bags and I just don't care for that. But other than that, spices stay in their own little container. Mm -mm. I'm going to use the Luan multi-surface spray. This stuff is amazing. I wish I was like a clean as you go person when I cook, but I'm kind of just like, a total mess the whole time and then i yeah, just deal with it at the end so. that should be a resolution for 2024 clean as you go when you cook alex also the recipe said on high for four hours but my god stop i don't want to see your hand Show, just... it's only 11 15 so i'm gonna go on low for six all right the hair is up so you know it's about to get serious i am finally going to use my new how many vlogs have we heard about this thing and we're finally going to use it Oh, portable cleaner from Bissell. I bought it on Amazon. I will link it. This is like of course you around a hundred dollars, and everyone loves it. It's like a thing. People love it. Oh my god! That's a size eighteen, y'all. Quote unquote size 18 that's not a size 18. i do not look like that it's like the third or fourth one isn't it that she has um shown this damn thing like let's just get to it please oh my god and i have a cream colored couch and a dog with zoomies people make this look really easy to use and i i just hope that's the case but i have a bissell like carpet cleaning vacuum so this is for portable moments upholstery so if you also like light colored furniture and upholstery um you have dogs or kids or you're messy that's cool no judgment here portable easy to carry around so i bought a big version of this but it came with a small one so i don't even have to buy one right away so i'm going to read the directions and then we're going to clean the couch i can't wait because it's <clears throat> ever since our lawn got destroyed from doing the patio um it's definitely more muddy i love when my <laughs> discord keeps popping up from linked because <laughs> i know there's screenshots <laughs> so when bruno comes in he gets zoomies and jumps on the couch so we're gonna have to figure that out <laughs> Can't do that every day. Oh. Okay, so I just watched a video because videos are better to me than instructions. I have this locked to the dog, can't come over as it's drying. So as you can see, we've got some staining, you know, it's it's dirty. You can just that is not from a dog. Y'all, that's not from a dog. That is from her. Come on. That is not those stains are not from a dog. Those are from you drop in drinks and food on it, Alex. Give me a damn break. Judge me. This seems extremely simple to use. This is the attachment I'm going to use. So this little trigger here releases the formula, and then you kind of scrub it with this and then go over it to suction it up. Uh, so yeah, it's very similar to the vacuum that I'm familiar with. So let's plug it in. I have a solution and hot, not hot, warm water in there. All right. There. I put the overhead lights on so you can see a little better. You can see how kind of dirty it is. Right, I'm going to put this on the floor. Turn it on. Let's do it, y'all. Oh, wait, okay. Wait, so wait, I just wait. did this. Hold on. Look at this corner right here. I, I think you guys can see me. Can y'all see this circle right here where the pumpkins are? Doo -doo -doo. 
but that's like where an elbow would be when you're sitting. Look at that spot. That's gross. I just did this cushion. I underestimated how big this is. It's wet, so we won't be able to really tell how it is like dries. But it did use all of this because it's a really big, big cushion. But you can see here how that's gross. This is like the most satisfying yet gross thing ever. Seeing all the that's gross dirt. So I'm excited to do the rest, and of course I'll show you guys you know way of later when it's will. all dry and how it looks. All right, you guys, the couch is drying, but I can already tell it it's going to look amazing when it's dry. So I'm very excited. I actually got cold when I was editing. Oh. Look, Link, this is the teddy, teddy coat. It's our new teddy coat. It's our new teddy coat. Finally cold enough for like when you said still, you get cold. Um, so I was just, I put on my coat because it was the closest thing I had. So I've been editing for a few hours. It's 2.30 and it's a beautiful day. So I think I'm gonna actually take the dog for a walk. <gasps> You're going for a walk? What? No way. Then I have the two next episodes of Love is Blind that are available and I need, Ugh. I need to see what's going on. Also, doing that whole couch was a labor of love. That was a lot. And the chili is starting to smell delish. All right, here's the dog walking the fit. I put on, of course, my little dog trick-or-treating sweater. I got it on TikTok shop. I have it linked over there. And then leggings and some tall Buff Money socks with my hookah bond eyes. I put my hair up in a bun just to kind of get it out of the way because it's kind of windy and cold, but I'm really excited. So Bruno loves the leaves. It's going to be hard to walk because he stops and plays and sniffs, but. Why? Why do you um, put your hair up and then you pull this, this pull some out to go walking? I don't, you're trying to get your hair out of your face, but then you do that. I don't. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Many hours later. All right, guys, end of the night. Up. She hates going out of the house. She hates it. She hates going outside of the house. She does not like fresh air. Date here. So, as you can see, you can kind of see like the lines where I did it. I feel like it's like vacuum lines and they're gonna go away. So this side came out so much better than this side. I think I still, I think I need to spot treat these areas like and let it sit for a few minutes rather than just go over it. Like I feel like just going over it makes it overall. Can she just not, that looks like a zipper right there. Can she not just take, oh, hold on. Is that not a zipper right there where she could just take it off and throw it in the washer? Maybe all clean, but for spots, I should have just like let it sit in a spot. So I'll probably go over it with just a few spots, but like the overall looks cleaner. It's just like, there's a few spots I need to like. Okay. So it is a zipper and she could take those off and just throw them in the washer. That would be so much easier than what she just did. I mean, you wouldn't get the pillow, the cushion wet. <laughs> that might actually be more useful than this thing than than yeah treat deeper all right you guys we're gonna watch the new haunted mansion and the nightness mm -hmm. spirit. spirit. Right, you guys ending the night with some apples and caramel dip i know it's spelled caramel but caramel just feels feels more right to me the haunted mansion look cute i'm gonna tell y'all right now that an apple and caramel However you want to say caramel, caramel, whatever you choose, however you choose to say it, um, that would send me to the bathroom vomiting and I would be laying down because I would be getting an instant headache and stomach ache because of it. My husband would too too much sugar should be sending her over the edge and an apple while it is healthy it is they're very sugar they, they're very sugary to um a, a gastric person person 
Yeah, yeah, I think the camera is in the heavens. I thought it was weird it wasn't called the Haunted Mansion like two, because like the new Haunted Mansion. But we both actually really liked it. It was a little long, it was two hours, but it didn't like drag. There's a lot of action, a lot going on. I too love me some apples with peanut butter. I am a total peanut butter girl. Um in fact, I have an actually an almond butter right now that I'm working with that is blue but uh blueberry muffin. And I know that Link hates it when I mention things that I can get only at HEB. I know you can get it somewhere else, but um I eat the peanut butter for the protein. And normally if I'm just feeling like a need for something sweet, I'll just go grab a, a teaspoon and have it. Um but the apples with the caramel is crazy. Overall, definitely worth the watch. We watched it on Disney Plus. So I didn't get to use the car vacuum today. By the time I got back from my walk, I stopped into editing, then eating dinner, and then the movie. I didn't get to, so I'll probably do it in the next vlog. I'm going to end this vlog. I'll probably vlog again tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching this reset, and I will see you again in a few days. Bye. Y'all. Y'all. That... I can't even with the amount of sugar. Ugh. Um, um, Leah P 1233. If you're watching right now, I'm sorry that my, um, Alex Picasso Rodriguez, um, video was cringe. I'm sure you, um, um, loved watching it though. Cause you m stopped long enough to make a comment. Um, this just, uh, -uh. I, I, I don't see any reset. It just <sighs> same thing. Grocery pickup, target pickup, shopping, shopping, shopping. Just, oh my God, I can't. Oh, and I have one more thing to show y'all. Um, so she posted um, on her YouTube, um, or not YouTube, sorry, on her Instagram. Who doesn't love a good selfie, car selfie? Well, Alex... Um, let me show you, sweetheart. Let me, let me find it. Let me see if I can get it up. Uh, desktop. Um, speak amongst yourselves while I find what I'm looking for. Sorry. Window. This is her car selfie also who doesn't love a good filtered car selfie alex um notice she's in the tessie uh yar has a, a, a i guess um decided that he doesn't want renner to scratch the seats anymore because look what we have in the back Back here, we have the 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 seats. Um, really, tell me you didn't filter. Just tell me. Uh, that. Mm, oh, and look at the sleeves. Someone mentioned the sleeves on her shirt, but look at the sleeves here. I don't think that's what Kim Kardashian wants these skins to look like. Uh, yes, Nimby, you are correct because when you look through her um, Instagram, um, all you see is filtered pictures. Even when she doesn't have makeup on, it's filtered pictures on her Instagram. You would not know it's the same person on her YouTube. 
period. Just. <sighs> I just don't understand. I mean, I guess uh, I don't. I'll, I'll just say it. I don't. And, and. Um. I, I, the headband is not working for her either. And it's not like headbands are a new thing. What's what's going on right here? I don't, if we're going to filter, let's let's fix that too, Alex. Just an FYI. I, I, I don't understand. I just... I, I mean, I guess I do. If you don't love yourself, even though you are shouting from the sky, um, that you love yourself at every size, you don't because you filtered your selfie. I very, I don't think the only time I use a filter is when I want to change something to black and white or like brighten it, but it's never to fix any blemishes on my face or make me look better. Even, yeah, I don't. I had to think, I don't. None of my selfies that I, and I take selfies, not all the time, but never take selfies. I mean, never filter any of my selfies. <laughs> Shelly, I think that when she had the gastric bypass, a whole lot of people were like, oh, this this is it. This is when she's, this is her wake-up call. She has had a wake-up call. Yes. Um, she's going to, this this is it. No. <sighs> she, she just, mm-mm-mm. <laughs> They do, but Abella, they, I thought hoops were supposed to like be right by your side, but they just stick out and it, it really bothers me. I don't know why. I know it bothers other people too, uh, and it shouldn't bother us, but it does because it's not the way it's supposed to look. Um, oh, you know what, Labyrinth, a good head tilt and a good angle is perfect. That's perfect. But when you are filtering through the heavens to to take away your chin, to make you look like you have a neck, to, you know, to thin your face. Bitch eating cracker syndrome. <laughs> and see, she's already promised to not filter a Photoshop anymore. And she still does. You can't say, even on TikTok, I know it says, it puts on there that you did a filter. But there's not, there's always times where you can pre-record something and put it on there and not use a filter, but still use a filter. If that makes sense. Or it won't show that you use the filter. Um, no, I just, it, I'm not sure why this was a reset. Um why she said it was productive cleaning just that little bit doing car, uh, her bed, her couch. I will get the correct word out eventually. Um, um, oh, we do. I bet Peach could do that. Peach is phenomenal with her video editing. <sighs> We, Sarah, we are not blind, but her viewers that have not woken up are blind. Um, the ones that have come over to my page, my channel, and have commented, um, they're normally, why are you, you know, they're not, they're not bringing up the actual facts. Why does this... Why, why, why does what she is doing affecting you? How does it affect you? Let me explain how it affects you. And I will go into detail. I am one of those ones who will try. I try 
to reply to to reply to every comment if I can. Sometimes I will just like and love it, and you know that's <laughs> Peach. Um, Link suggested that we do a video edit. Uh, here we go, Peach. Look, I put it up. Oh, Link will message you. She knows where to catch you. <laughs> um, let's see. Shelly, Alex must have body dysphoria. She thinks she has reverse dysphoria. She thinks that she looks a lot smaller than she actually does. And just that's <sighs> um, uh, I don't think there's anything else um, other than um, I'm sure that um, I'll have more comments from the peanut gallery, the Alex gallery. That's what we're going to call it. The peanut, the Alex peanut gallery. Um, um, like I said, if you would look, if you comment, um, if you comment on my thing, I'm going, I will, um, I will always reply. Um, and, uh, just, just an FYI, I, I'm just as snarky in the comments. If you have a, uh, judgmental comments to make because guess what you're talking about me judging while you're doing the same thing it's the pot calling the kettle black and i will openly admit that i'm judging i am and <laughs> the shade um nobody and that was that was that lauren that was one that got me um was somebody said the jealous the jealousy is very shining brightly or something and you know what i'm not jealous of alex i'm not um i'm not jealous of the money that she spends i'm not jealous um of her husband i'm not jealous of her tesla I'm not jealous of her dog I'm not jealous of her house for christ's sake um and I'm not jealous of her in general. I will flat out tell you, I know that I am pretty. I don't have to put a ton of makeup on. I love putting makeup on. That That's me. I love makeup. Um, I'm not, I'm not jealous uh, of her because of anything. I, I feel sad for her because of where she's put herself. She's put herself in a hole. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, I too had the same surgery she did. I succeeded. She did not. There's a big difference. Um, um, I'm not jealous of her still wearing a 3X at all, at all. Uh, if I did have her money, I truly wouldn't be spending it all on the crap, on all of the crap that she buys. Um, I would be, you know, traveling, giving it to, um, some charities, um, not jealous of her relationship. I have an amazing relationship. I am uh, completely obsessed with my husband. He's completely obsessed with me. In fact, the other night, um, we were going, we were headed to do something with kids. And um, I was outside. I had already put my stuff in the truck and was getting ready. And I was putting the chickens up and he comes out and he just looks at me and he goes, my God, you are beautiful. Well, thanks, darling. 
you know? I don't have to. He asked me what he can do for me. I don't always, I mean, I asked him what I could do for him, but he asked me what he can do for me. He checks on me. Like he was like ready to come home yesterday when I sent him a message and said, why can't anything be easy around here when I had a problem with the lawnmower? Um, and uh, uh, what else? I have two very, well, <laughs> I have two dogs. One is well-behaved. One is a no limit soldier. If you're in my Discord, you will know that uh, I have a very, very no limit soldier, uh, 10 and a half, 11 and a half month old dog. That is my Velcro dog. I am his emotional support human. And he drove me crazy the other day. Um, I, I'm not jealous of Bruno. I have two great Pyrenees that I love that are well-behaved, well-trained. Oh, they're trained. One's not well-behaved, but we're working on it. Um, I have three beautiful children um, that I worked hard to get. Um, worked hard. I sacrificed a lot. Um, I don't, I don't put my whole life out especially when it involves my children. Um, my daughter has been on here. Um, and that was my choice. She's not bullying. Like everyone wants to say that I bully. I'm not bullying. She uh, And I watched the video back. Um, she said something about her chins. That was all she said. Uh, she did talk about her fashion, which... My daughter is kind of into fashion. She she knows what looks good, what looks not, what not, what doesn't look good. Um, she knows when clothes don't fit. I've asked her, does this look good on me? And she'll tell me flat out, mom, you can see, you know, your muffin top. That's great. I want to know those things. I I want her to be able to realize what looks good on her and what doesn't look good on her. Um, and she's my daughter through and through. I may not have given birth to her. Uh, she may not be biologically mine, but, um, and Kelly, I don't think, I don't know if Kelly's still listening or if she's here. Um, <clears throat> um, but I'm an Aries and I don't normally, um, stick to that whole astrological thing, but I, I'm I'm an Aries through and through. My daughter is an Aries through and through. Um, she was she was born in the same. She's her birthday is two days, uh, eight days before mine. Um, so we she like I said, <laughs> I, I knew you were listening. Um, she 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 has learned that mom speaks her mind and mom um speaks her mind um i choose how i say it um normally if i will come up with retort i will think about it beforehand because i want it to to uh look thought out i want to make sure that i am not looking feel better bella um, but you know, you're going to come over here from Alex, at least have something, to, uh, original to say, I'm not jealous. None of the ladies in the chat are jealous of Alex. We were all watchers of, Je of Alex, jealous. We are all watchers of Alex at one point in our lives. And we've all seen through, uh, We've all seen through it all. Uh, we've been there. We've seen the red flags. We've caught on to the lies. We've caught on to the filtering. Um, we've caught on to the shilling of the constant merchandise just for the coin. We are here as a community and have uh, 
um, what's the word I'm looking for? Come together. <laughs> we have come together as one because we all have a common, we have a common bond. And that is Alex has done something in some way to affect us. And yes, it's somebody on YouTube that is affecting us. And we shouldn't let that affect us. But it is what it is. That's what happens. Um, it's, a, it's a human thing. Whether you let him affect you or not, that's up to you. But uh, I am here to shed light on everything. Um, so are the other ladies. So um it is it has been a little over an hour let's see it's been an hour and 20 minutes um i'm sure all of you guys have things that you have to do um and um uh so um again i will do a little research and um um Um, do any links that she has linked, I will link them without her links so that you, if you, if you want to use those cleaning products, you can use them without having to link her. I will link that contraption carp, the, the couch cleaner thing. Um, and you want, if you, if you, if it interests you, I will have it linked. Um, so you guys don't have to give her any, any percentage um with that said thank you guys for joining me i really appreciate all of you guys um make sure you go and like the video um and um i will i won't be i won't be doing a live on sunday um i have a market to go to and um kids will be here um and pick, pick pick parents up from the airport. It's a busy day on Sunday. So um, I'll see you guys in Discord or on Gossip Bakery. If you are from Gossip Guru, thank you for joining. joining. Um, I know that I don't know her name. I know her, her um, screen name is Tar. Um, thank you for Tar for always linking it over to um, Gossip Guru. Um, you guys next time. <laughs>